Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know how you can import multiple pictures or a list of pictures into DocuPilot from Integromat. My name is Dominic Lienert, let's get right into it. So just as a quick explanation in the beginning, if you have clicked on this video, I assume you know what DocuPilot does, but if you don't, what DocuPilot does is it allows you to automatically generate um, documents. So you can generate Word documents, you can generate PDF documents, all sorts of documents, and it allows you to dynamically put in certain text, certain information, so you can actually generate stuff like contracts or um, invoices and stuff like that, and you can also put pictures in there, so it automatically puts pictures into the document. And what we want to look at now is what happens if you try to put multiple pictures into the document. So if we go over to Integromat, here's a very simple um, workflow that would, or scenario that would do this. So what we have is we read some information from a Google Sheet. The Google Sheet looks like this. We have some area information. We have a link to a picture. This is what we want to get into um, DocuPilot. And then we have some other, some more information. But what we're really interested in is the pictures we have. Then we aggregate that into an array because we want to put multiple pictures in there and we don't want to put single pictures in. So the idea here is if you would just add another another picture to this to this list. So let's just do that. Let's just copy one of the pictures and now we have five pictures in here. The idea is that you then don't have to put in an extra variable into uh, DocuPilot, but instead it just puts in all the pictures that come in. Period. So what do we want to do is we, we aggregate the array, we aggregate the pictures. So we have a list of pictures. Here you can see we have an array which has all the pictures in it. So it has all the addresses to the pictures. And then we send that to DocuPilot. Let's have a look at that. Pretty straightforward as well. Create array, uh, create a document is the module. And we have set up a connection to DocuPilot and we send the array with all the images. So that should do the job. If we go over to DocuPilot, um, we, the template we use is very simple for this. So basically it just says below is a list of all properties. And then this text iterates all the images we sent and displays or should display the image at 200 to 200 pixels. And this is where the list ends. But the problem is, so let's just run that. And, and then we can see what the problem is. So it runs quite quickly. Let's go over to DocuPilot, refresh the documents, and let's have a look at the document. This is what it looks like. So we see there is nothing in here. So the list of images wasn't displayed. And we see it's not, it's not that the images couldn't be displayed because then it would show something different. It would kind of show a broken picture image, um, but it's just empty. So it couldn't read the list. This is basically what it tells us. So let's see what DocuPilot received. Let's look in here. So it did receive all the URLs. It did receive all the informations to the pictures. That looks good. But what we can see is it's an array of images. And what it what happened was instead of just being kind of a straight up array, it's actually a collection of items and each item has the key one. So the problem here is that what um, DocuPilot actually expects is a list of items, so an array called images, but then because inside the template, if I go back to the template, inside the template, the so we have a list of images which is called images and then in this list of images we have single images <laughs> so we have what is called the variable image in here. So what DocuPilot actually expects is a list coming in, an array that is called images. And in this list, we have multiple items and each item has the key image. So in here should be image instead of one. So how do we do that? And that is a neat little trick we can use for that. So. If we go back over here to Integromat, we can see that we map the array. So also one thing, if you refresh the template, you will notice that DocuPilot automatically pulls the information, which variables do I have to set? So it pulls this from over here in the templates. Um, Integromat pulls the information and knows, okay, there's one, um, so you can see here on the on the right side, the template tokens, it knows there's one list of images. The, the list is called images. 
um, that DocuPilot expects. So Integromat pulls that information. And what we now need to do is a nice little trick. If we have, or we need to put a aggregator module before the DocuPilot, which is in our case anyway, the case. But then if you open the aggregator module and you set the target structure type, you can set instead of custom, which, so custom allows us to just say, okay, which information do we want to keep after the aggregation? Instead of that, we can actually select images of the next, the following module. So we can select the target structure type based on what DocuPilot's created document module needs for its images. So this allows us to then say, okay, we want the picture links. And what you can now see is that Integromat automatically created an array called images because it knows that's what DocuPilot needs. And in there it has single elements, which basically a collection um, and each element is called image. And then we can just pull in the value here. So let's run that. And let's see what the output was. The output was an, a list and we can see that each one is not just an array, but each one is in collection and says image, blah, blah, blah. Let's jump over to DocuPilot. Let's refresh the list. And let's have a look at what it received. Great. So we have an array called images and in there are multiple, em <laughs> multiple elements. Each has the key image. So let's look at the document that we got. Let's see. And the document we have has the images in there. We see the last one I copied. So that's twice in there. And all the other ones we can see are in here as well. So that worked. So what you want with DocuPilot is you want to make sure that it comes in in this structure. And the way you can create that is by using the aggregator module um, to allow to basically automatically take the input structure from the DocuPilot module. If the, so in this case, it worked out because we are, we needed an aggregator module anyways. If you don't need one, what you can do uh, that works equally well is you can actually throw in. So if we would do this for, in this use case, let's say we just ignore this part and let's say we need to create. So we already, we have the array nicely put up here. So one thing that you can then do is you just throw in an iterator and then throw in an aggregator right afterwards. So we are now ignoring all the left part here. So let's say we wouldn't actually need an aggregator to change the data structure, um, but we just need the aggregator to make sure that the right type comes in for DocuPilot and th that automatically gets set. Then you can put in an iterator and then undo the iterator with the aggregator. But why doing that, setting up the data, the target structure type um, to be the right one that you need? Yeah, this is it. Um, this is how you set up DocuPilot with Integromat if you want to send multiple images or an array of images into one DocuPilot document. If you find these videos helpful and you want to help me make these videos and stay caffeinated doing these videos, feel free to buy me a coffee below. Also, if you have specific questions or Integromat problems that you want to discuss with me or you want to have a specific project in mind and just want to bounce off some ideas, run it by me, I'm happy to get on a call with you. Just buy me a coffee below. It allows me to put aside some time on my calendar and we can get together and talk. My name is Dominic Leonard. Take care and goodbye.